From the beginning, PCCA has been driven by the desire to bring new ideas to compounding. From capsule machines, lollipop molds, suppository molds, ointment mills, EMPs, software, bases, formulations and training, PCCA has led the way. Now, PCCA is taking mixing to a whole new level. In the beginning, a rock bowl with a rock pestle was the method of choice for mixing powders. Refinements came, but the technology remained the same. There have been advancements, V-blenders, tumble blenders, ribbon blenders, shakers, and who can forget the magic bullet? But what if I told you, by harnessing the power of resonance and G-force, we could take a giant leap forward in the evolution of mixing technology? At PCCA, we think next. Next is here today. The next generation of mixing technology has arrived. Introducing the PCCA RAM Mixer. RAM stands for Resonant Acoustic Mixer. Now, before we get into the live demo, I need to tell you a few things about this particular device. First of all, it uses low frequency sound combined with high G forces to initiate significant random motion of every particle contained within the container that's mounted on the platform. So, so what does that do? What it gives you is extremely fast mixing times, typically in the two to three minute range for most active pharmaceutical ingredients, with no need for the operator to be involved in that mixing process. Secondly, it gives you exceptional content uniformity with relative standard deviations less than 4%. In fact, usually far less than 4%, which is the FDA line of acceptability. And this is demonstrated over a broad range of APIs. Thirdly, guys, this is so easy to use. Now, in the example I'm about to show you, we used different colored pellets and a high-speed camera to show the random motion created by the PCCA RAM. Now, granted, this is happening in seconds. Notice how quickly the, all the particles within the container that's mounted on top of that platform begins to move. So, you guys ready to see this thing in, mo in action? All right. So right here, we have a white powder with some blue food coloring that's just been weighed directly into the jar. It's a clear jar. To operate the machine, first I've got to turn it on. That helps. Um, it's quite simple. We open up the cockpit door. I like to use the, the term cockpit. Secure the jar into place. Just make sure it's nice and snug because this, this, this platform is moving up and down 60 times a second. Then, simply, I set my mixing intensity, low, medium, or high. We have found the sweet spot usually to be high intensity, although there are some materials that respond better to a low intensity. Then, I set my time. I'm going to go ahead and just set it for one minute and it'll probably only run for a few seconds. And now I'm just ready to push start. It's literally that easy. So here we go. Camera's on. And within seconds, you can visually see that that powder is now mixed into um, the entire mixture there. I'm not gonna let it run for the, the whole minute. I'm just gonna go ahead and stop it after probably about 10, 15 seconds. As you can see, very, very well uniform. So, so to visually demonstrate the efficiency imparted by the RAM, we recorded the capsule making process using four different methods. As you can see on the screen here, we used a mortar and pestle, the PCCA RAM, a magic bullet, and a V-blender. We timed each process, including the cleaning. 
Watch as each method is side by side in this time-lapse video. The weighing is the same for each method, but once the mixing starts, the separation from the pack really begins. Notice after loading, she, the, loading the RAM mixer on the far left, she's already setting up the capsule machine. And is very quickly, she is, she's ready here to encapsulate. It only, she's, only, she's only engaged in the machine for about 20 seconds after loading it. So there she is, she's gone back to the machine, she takes it off, it's mixed, ready to go, ready for encapsulation, encapsulation total, total time, four minutes, 11 seconds. Magic bullet, she's now just getting started on setting up her capsule machine. Mortar and pestle still going on the mixing process, five minutes, 59 seconds. V blender, of course, is tumbling. Here we go. Now she's about ready to get started on the magic bullet. Total time, seven minutes, one second. Mortar and pestle. And this is just the mixing part and the, the setting up of the capsules. A Little over eight minutes now. And she's now ready for encapsulation on the mortar and pestle, nine minutes, 17 seconds. So finally, the other methods are, are ready to encapsulate. And so notice the total times. But, but keep in mind, only about 20 seconds or so are required for her to load and operate the RAM. Then she walked away. So now, we can't forget about the cleaning process. So the RAM literally takes a second. Notice instant replay here coming up. One second, <laughs> one second, uh, one second, <laughs> yeah. The others, multiple minutes. So you've got five minutes, 40 seconds on the bullet. Mortar and pestle, we've got four minutes, 31 seconds. And the V-Blender, we got five minutes, 48 seconds. Should be noted on the bullet, there is this rubber gasket on the bottom of it that's not removable that actually could present some problems for uh, uh, cross-contamination.